This is Henry Ramirez. This is Josecito Lopez saying what's up to Champions of Boxing. And you're watching Champions of Boxing. It's Ivan Delgado and you're watching Champions of Boxing. Hola, hola, soy su amigo Jesús Soto Cárez. Están viendo Champions of Boxing. Hi, this is Leo Santa Cruz and you're watching Championship Boxing. <laughs> So we're here with Leo Santa Cruz. Um, congratulations on our newest you. win. Thank you. Um, quick question. I know it's been over a year since you yeah. hopped into the ring. At a 1 of 10, what do you think you grade yourself on this victory against Avalos? Uh, so, um, from 1 to 10, uh, maybe like um, 6. I didn't think I did so good. No, uh, I had a lot of months without getting in the ring. It was my longest layoff. It was my five fought and it was January and then I find to uh, it was uh, October so it was nine months almost out of the ring so I think that kind of like you know, play off a little bit. I was a real not of like um, like they say you gotta bring rust, you know and yeah. uh, I felt like that a little bit. But you know the good, the good thing is that we got some rounds in and we, we got ready, you know, we're gonna be ready for the next fight. We already we already got in there and prepared ourselves, our body, and now we're gonna be more ready. So I know you and Mare's rematch didn't happen this time, but did you see his fight before entering the ring? Yeah, I, I was watching it. I was watching it right there in the locker room. As I was warming up and everything, I, I was watching him fight. Do you see anything different him training with Robert Garcia? Well, he moves more. He, you know, he, he not he doesn't go and brawl. He's try to box you and move around. He moves more and everything. He throws like fast, fast punches and then moves around. But you know, that's something that we could, you know, uh, control. You know, my dad's gonna make me train in the gym to fight that style, and we always, my dad always finds a way to to beat him. So a lot of people have been asking, and I want you to answer. Yeah. Everybody wants to trilogy between you and Frampton. <laughs> I see it all over your Instagram. Yeah. I see it all over. Everyone keeps asking, yeah. is it gonna happen? I, I am pretty sure it's gonna happen. From my side, I am, I want it. Frampton wants it, so we, I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen. But first, I want to give Matt the rematch. Hopefully, I beat him, and then if I beat him, uh, I, I'll give Frampton the rematch. Who do you have on this fight that's coming up? Rigondeaux versus Lomachenko. Uh, this is an interesting fight, you know, it's an interesting fight because, uh, you know, they're both technical fighters that move and, and just try to counter punch you. So, but I think uh, Lomachenko, he's a bigger guy, he's stronger, and I think he's going to be the, the winner. So tomorrow your friend Bronzer gets into the ring <laughs> versus the burn part two. What can you see on that fight? I got another great fight, you know, the first fight was good and everything. Uh, so, uh, Browns couldn't knock him out. He was the first one to go to the decision to win him. But I think this fight, I think uh, Bomber is going to knock him out. When can we expect you and Marius to hop in the ring? Uh, they've been talking first. They were talking that it was in February. But then, uh, since you know, the Lakers are going to be playing basketball. And I think there's going to be some UFC. So I think the best day to for the that we could fight in Staples Center is gonna be in April. So I, I'm pretty sure it might, it might happen in April. So it's my birthday month yeah. in April. Uh, so can I ask, can I get some tickets or something? Yeah, uh, if you can, yeah, we will we'll change you. It's gonna, it's gonna be hard because you know probably a lot of people are gonna watch. But if I can, you know, I'll get hook you up. <laughs> all right, you got it on camera, all right? Um, anything to all your fans that have been supporting you since day one? Now to all my fans, that thank you for all the support. That you know. Everything I do and when I go training, I use that motivation from other fans, the love and everything. And I use it in the ring to go out there and give them great fights. So I just tell them thank you and everything I do is for you guys.